I'm motivated by the idea of public service. I really want to. Uh, that's why I studied public policy, because I think that's one of the most direct ways to uh, provide service to the community and to the countries, and especially I'm concerned about uh, vulnerable people on this planet. I'm Asim Zia. I'm assistant professor in the Department of Community Development and Applied Economics, and I'm a fellow at the Gund Institute of Ecological Economics. It's just a book that I just wrote. Uh, it's about how to tackle the climate change problem, because I think this is one of the most challenging problems that we have. RACC stands for Research on Adaptation to Climate Change. It is a very, very interdisciplinary project which brings together lake experts who work on the ecology of the lakes, as well as the watershed engineers, as well as the policy and governance experts. So I'm more coming from the policy side, but given my interest in building computational models, especially coupled human and natural system models, the, one of the goals of the project is to do adaptive management in Lake Champlain Basin. There are two agent-based models. One of them is focused on, uh, these are like these bottom-up computer simulation models where we model the land use and then there are human agents that exist on top of that landscape and then there are policy agents who govern the behavior of the landscape level agents. So in our models we have, uh, for example, farmers, uh, households, as well as these town governments and their behaviors lead to different amounts of nutrient flows from the landscape to the, to the lake. So we're trying to understand that under one policy mechanism, for example, when there is no tax, phosphorus tax, when there is no incentive for them to uh, kind of change their behavior, we are trying to understand what is the current policy regime and what would these behaviors look like differently and their impacts on nutrient flows under different policy regimes. We have selected Mad River Valley as well as small watershed in Minuski River and Missisque Basin as well and Minuski. So we are looking at organizing these six to eight person focus groups with the people who are engaged in planning at the local town level. Um, in addition, we have also students and postdocs who are conducting uh, semi-structured interviews and surveys. Uh, we are also doing a public opinion survey uh, for the entire state of Vermont about how different, uh, how they would react to different water quality uh, policies as well as incentives. The way we live really matters, whether it's for water quality or whether it is for climate change. It's really about living sustainably, living with lighter footprint on the ecosystems that we interact with. It's about changing the paradigm. We need to switch from consumerist-based system to more sustainable-based system. I think that's the paradigm change would require transformation. These policies that we want to talk about would just be the triggers to induce that change. But the way we will actually change would depend on uh, whether we really change our paradigm of living on this planet. So I see the RAC project as one example of that, but you can look, look at it at larger scales as well.